Hey guys, happy December everyone. It's actually uh, December, which is crazy. Like, I would have had no clue it was already December. Except I, you know, opened my phone and that little calendar app is there and it just said one. So I was like, oh my God, it's the first day of December. Time has gone by so quick this year, it's really scary. Now I'm realizing what life is like as an adult and I am going to blink and I'm going to be 80 years old. Happy holidays! Everyone's been talking about doing this vlogmas thing. I had no clue what that is as being uh, pretty new to YouTube myself. No clue what vlogmas was, but I wanted to do it because it seemed fun. I've looked into vlogmas and I think I want to give it a shot. I think I want to try it. But see, what I'm worried about is the fact that it is an overwhelming amount of videos. It is literally one video every day until Christmas, which means for the next 25 days, you will be getting a notification every single day that I've done another video and another one and another one and another and I just feel like this might be too much too much too many videos but um, go ahead and leave your opinion here because if so um, you know today's the first so I'm gonna just start here and keep going if I really do want to do one video every day for December it's been a few days since I've made a video and really I have just been too stressed out to possibly even try to make a video actually I take that back I did try to make a video and it was just so bad because I was so stressed that I couldn't even think of how to speak that I look like a dead zombie just talking to you guys and it was just so bad so I could not you know go ahead and upload that that was just really bad I'm feeling a little better now which is good of course and uh, I have been talking to you guys about all my tank builds that have been going on and actually I'm going to have to postpone them for about a week. I've been telling you guys how I want to get these builds out there but I actually cannot do that right now because I have ruined the floors in my house. They ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. I flooded, I, I have an RDI unit and I have flooded my floors three times with my RDI unit and now my wooden floors are just ruined. Everything is buckling and it's just, you know, gross and the wood is all like popping out everywhere. And so we have to get every single room in this house redone because of the way the flooring works. There's no way to stop at a certain point in a certain room. And second of all, I really want to get this room with some like waterproof flooring instead of this wood because of all the water I have in this room. I feel like it'd be best to go ahead and get myself some better flooring. So that will be a very interesting part of this vlogmas stuff if I am going to be doing that because you are going to get to see me take down every single tank in this room with all of the creatures in them and relocate them while my room gets redone. So I'm already stressing about that. It's like, it's so stressful how I'm gonna even make this work. I don't know. So, so stressed. I, I want to pay someone to do it all. I want to go away. I don't want to be here while any of it happens and I want to come back and it all be done because I cannot even like just thinking about this situation stresses me out. I have like six tanks and eight cages or something like that in this room that I'm gonna have to move out of here for the floors to be done and then move them all back in here. Oh god. And then I finally actually truly I mean as, as long as these people are straight up just lying to me I've gotten the notification that my ship tank shipped oh god my tank has been shipped not my ship has been tanked so my tank is on its way and the 150 gallon that big thing that we're talking about yeah it's on its way a part of me is pretty glad now you know with all of this going on a part of me is very thankful that it did take as long as it did to get here because if it was set up right now and I was cycling it and getting everything started if it would have come the few weeks back when I was expecting it Oh my god, how in the world am I supposed to take apart a 150 gallon tank and move it out of here, fill it back up, take it back down and put it back in and fill it back up again? It would have literally been impossible for me because if you don't know, I know it might surprise you, but um, I don't really have muscles. I don't, and I can't lift a 150 gallon tank. I, I couldn't do that. So uh, thank you fish gods for watching over me. I appreciate it. I appreciate it very much. Appreciate it. I have this lovely Christmas tree here. It's very Christmassy and very Christmas spirity. So yeah, that's gonna be some fun stuff that's gonna be happening here in a few days, hopefully. I really hope it gets started in a few days. It's supposed to, so hopefully that actually happens because if it doesn't happen for another week or so, I'm gonna have to just keep putting off the tank build, which I don't wanna do because I've been wanting to do this for months now. Basically, with an RODI unit, if you don't shut it off and you don't have an auto, you know, stop valve, which I didn't, 
it's just gonna keep going making more and more and more and more water so I completely forgot about it twice and then I like spilt my bucket another time so my floors are definitely ruined and yeah it's not gonna be cheap so I I want to do vlogmas you're gonna have to see me tear down all my tanks it's already December what the heck how in the hecky heck of heckers and I was gonna say one more thing oh that's what I was gonna say so there might be one more animal being added to my animal family not quite sure yet not making any promises at all I have been looking into getting an emotional support dog slash service dog an emotional support dog slash service dog slash guard dog just an everything dog I have really bad anxiety and it's really bad to the point where sometimes I just literally cannot function I cannot partake in the world of life because of it so I really do feel like in those situations a dog will help comfort me because animals help comfort me when I announced that I was doing this on Twitter and Instagram I had some weird you know people that got kind of mad at me they're basically saying you know Taylor you already have all of these animals why aren't any of those enough to emotionally support you well see the thing is, is I care about all of these animals and none of these animals that I own particularly love being held at any given time of the day, okay? Let's go through the animals I have in this room, okay? Emotional support axolotl. That's just not gonna work. My axolotl just bites me and she can't come out of the water. Emotional support seahorse, not happening. Emotional support fish in general, no. What do you think I'm gonna do? Put my fish in a bowl and wheel it around with me when I'm sad? That's not happening, okay? I'm not gonna have an emotional support fish. Emotional support Pac-Man frog. I can't even touch my Pac-Man frog. Emotional support crested gecko. Crested geckos are easily stressed, don't like being out in direct sunlight, and uh, not to forget they're nocturnal. And uh, yeah, do you want a lizard pooping all over you because they're so stressed and freaking out and possibly stressing themselves to death to help you emotionally? No, I don't see how that would help me emotionally. Emotional support tarantula. No, my tarantula, every time I touch my tarantula, she flicks hairs all over me. Look at this. I look like I have a stigmata. I look like I'm becoming of Christ. I don't know what happened there, but it was after I held my tarantula that happened. She will only stress me out more because I won't stop scratching my body until I make holes in my hands. Emotional support mouse. Mice are also nocturnal and would not appreciate being taken out of their home and their comfy little habitat and held every time I'm stressed. What kind of mouse is going to cuddle with me? No mouse, that's what. I understand some mice are more laid back, but Gus is not laid back. He likes to run around almost constantly. He does not like to rest. He'll sometimes rest in my pocket, but that does not help me calm down. Rats are different and can help emotionally and also appreciate being out at different times of the day. So I understand that some small animals can be used as emotional support, but in my situation, it's not happening. Lastly, we have emotional support hedgehog and no. Hedgehogs are antisocial creatures. They sometimes appreciate being taken out to explore, to be given treats and things like that, but they don't necessarily like die to be held and wondering, oh my God, when is my owner gonna take me out of this cage? They aren't necessarily usually like that. Um, again, hedgehogs are nocturnal and taking them out during the day will only further stress them. So none of these animals can emotionally support me um, one, without stressing them out, two, without dying, and uh, three, just because it's just not, it's not. How are they gonna, they, no. I'm gonna stress out about these animals if I'm out holding them all the time and worrying about how they're doing. In my situation, I feel like a dog would work best because for one, they don't need to be in water. They will live outside of water. Uh, two, they're not nocturnal. Three, they can love and cuddle with me and actually appreciate it and get attached to me and build a bond with me. And four, they can also protect me and service me. I actually feel like a service dog would somewhat benefit me because I do have some medical problems. So yeah, that's, that's what I'm looking at making happen and I would like it to be a bigger dog and somewhat kind of be like a protection for me as well. Whether I end up with a Great Dane or a Chihuahua, I am looking for a service dog, an emotional support dog slash protection and I guess a Chihuahua really wouldn't protect me that well but who knows. Also, people ask why I don't use Kiara as my emotional support dog. Well, Kiara is very bonded with my mother and my mother is very bonded with Kiara, so I'm not gonna interfere with that little thing going on there, okay? 
I'm not gonna, but I'm not gonna interfere with that. This video was mainly just updates. I'm sorry I didn't, you know, educate you about anything. I'm sorry you have not been educated, but um, I just wanted to give people updates because I, there's like three videos I tried to make and every time I like had too bad of anxiety, so I needed to just catch everyone up. Let me know what y'all think about vlogmas because I would actually love to do vlogs and just everyday updates or I was thinking maybe instead of doing like everyday vlogs I do animal education month where every day it's a different type of animal tell me what you think tell me what you think in. thank y'all guys for watching and, and I have gotten to 130,000 subscribers so thank y'all thank y'all very much thank you very much thank you so look out for another video probably tomorrow do y'all like my tree doll look how cute my tree is Merry Christmas happy holidays and before I forget, uh, and before I forget, make sure to check out that website if you haven't yet that I mentioned in my last two videos. It's called myaquarium.life. That's it right there. That's the name is right there. That's the name is it's right there. It's basically social media for people who like aquariums and own aquariums and like looking at other people's aquariums and like talking about aquariums. And I'm allergic to it. I am on that website and I will be doing like more in-depth tracking of all of my builds on there and just talking more about aquarium stuff and answering questions that I don't always get to on my videos. On my videos. Go to it. And I will be talking more about it in one of my next few videos. I just made this video completely irrelevant. I just made this video way too like it's not on that topic so it'd be kind of weird to, so it'd be kind of weird to throw in a whole nother you know five minutes about the website. There's too many topics in one video. Too many topics. I'll be doing an update on this tank here very soon. Very soon. So, just bye. <laughs>